guys, we have a big storm coming, but we also most importantly have Cletus and cars coming and my boy Sean Steimer bought the Galaxy from Garrett a long time ago. He's been putting a lot of time and money into this thing and he wants me to park it at home. So here she is. She finally made it to the Freedom Factory and I got to show you the upgrades he's done to this thing because it is absolutely beautiful. He's going to be ripping it at Cletus and cars. He said he's going to take it down the track and be doing burnouts with it. So make sure you guys come get your tickets or watch online because it's going to be an epic event. God dang, Sean, look at them new wheels. You got the doom limb brakes on there. She's looking good. Oh, this interior though. Oh my God, this car needed it so bad. Look at this, the double diamond stitching. He's got his extra set of tires. I like it. New steering wheel made out of wood. Oh my God, Sean. Oh, listen to that chop. I love this thing, don't you? We should have never let it leave the family. I know, I miss it. All right, I'm gonna get on the road, dude. All right, brother. Can we all just take a second to appreciate how sick this car is? Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> I thought I saw the it black. Lo it looked like, like oil, oil, dude. It looked like oil. Oh, okay. yeah, it looked a lot like. What does it taste like? Sweet, bitter. Like coolant, like Just antifreeze. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't eat that. Dude, you're putting on a show out there, man. It was smoking. Probably blew a, a radiator line. Um, top one looks good. You got a light? Yeah. Down here. Oh, there we go. Something spewing. Where? See how wet it is? Yeah. Sweat too. Oh, it probably came out of here. Overflow. Oh, yeah. And sprayed backwards. <laughs> it looked like there was stuff coming out of the back of the motor, though. Like, it was all accumulating right here, but it was probably spraying. Shooting out that way. Overflowing, just shooting straight into the turbo. Right. Who's ready? It's probably fine, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I don't, it looks great. It started right up, no problem. I know, I know. Hell yeah. You know what was happening is you were putting it into high gear, and then it was just like the wheels weren't spinning. Oh, really? The part of it, yeah. Like, you're just pushing through the converter. Did it eventually start spinning? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. It's hard to tell when you're in there. I know. There's on. so much going on. You're, like, in full panic mode, <laughs> and there's, like, everybody's watching you. Awesome. Danny's like, Sean, don't let us down. Don't, don't embarrass, embarrass me. <laughs> Also, a lot of you have been asking about these deer. These were all shot in Nebraska. I'm actually going rifle hunting in Nebraska next weekend for some whitetail action. Not sure if I'm gonna document it yet. I grew up with my best friend, Tyler, and he and I are heading on to Western Nebraska to go see if we can't find something good. But I have shot every single one of these. Yes, I have a doe mounted. This was my first year I ever shot. I shot with a rifle, rifle, muzzleloader, muzzleloader, rifle and then bow so the only thing i haven't shot in a deer with is a crossbow i haven't hunted for whitetail in probably like 10 years i've kind of grown out of it but i'm going back to kind of reminisce and have fun with my buddy that i grew up with to see if we can't get into anything big Not all right well i know y'all have been seeing uh the deers on my wall in my garage well i am actually in nebraska i'm here with my buddy tyler and it is rifle season starting tomorrow today is friday november 11th happy veterans day to all the veterans out there but we are scoping out our spot. We are up in Nebraska near the Niobrara River on some public land. And don't give away this. What'd you say? Don't give away the spot? <laughs> it's public land. No, we're not on public land. We're actually on private land somewhere in Nebraska. But uh, we're, we're driving around this morning. It's about an hour after sunrise. We've seen about 50 deer so far. Nothing worth shooting. But, uh, you know, we both do have buck and antlerless tags so we're out here looking around having a good time this weekend and uh hope you guys enjoy a little bit of different content deer. oh shit. crikey a deer crikey we got a white tail oh shit. spooked it hey dude first one of the day Oh, there's two of them. Dang. What did you say to me? Do I want a what? <laughs> oh, your camera's shy. This is deer country if I've ever seen it. You know what? We're going home. Ah, dang, dude. <laughs> Just look at it through with your eye. That thing's garbage. There you go. Like steaming Landberg over there. Oh, yeah, you can see them so much better since you opened the door. Are you moving the door? Tyler, solid sign here. Crikey. You can tell there was a deer here by the way it is. Yes. This is great content. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
Bring it in here. <laughs> Is he coming? <gasps> oh. Come here. <laughs> Alright, Tyler and I are on our way out for our opening morning. It is 5.58. We had about an hour drive out to where we are setting out in our mobile heated blind this morning. We are going to stay in the truck until we start to see some deer move around because it is negative 6 degrees out. It is probably one of the coldest mornings I've ever gone out hunting for and I can remember one other instance where I absolutely froze to death in a tree stand and hurried back to my truck, but we're gonna try and keep our core body temperatures up and our extremities before we start seeing the deer move around a little bit. We still got about another half hour drive till we get to our spot that we kind of scoped out last night. And uh, we know there's gonna be some other hunters out here, but we are on private land and we saw probably 30 to 40 deer last night. None real shooters like we're after, but uh, you know, it's basically like the purge on these mornings when hunters start moving deer around. It's it's pretty chaotic. Pretty much all the deer you've been seeing throughout the year, especially at the start of the rut, you usually don't even end up seeing during rifle season because there's so many hunters out here. There's so many deer running around like crazy. So as long as we stay out there, stay consistent and persistent, then we should have uh, an opportunity to shoot at something. So we'll see how today goes. I'm only here tomorrow as well, and then I gotta fly back Monday morning. So really only two days of hunting. We're gonna try and get as many hours out here as we can. We got pretty much 37 Red Bulls and three boxes of fruit snacks to live off of for the next two days. So we feel pretty motivated by that. What you got? The little buck. Yeah? Where at? The left of the hay bales. Oh uh, yeah, you can see them. I see you, one, two, three, four, Hey, what's on that fence line to the left? <laughs> See what you got there, bud. Oh, Papi Cholo. He's sitting, what, about 600 yards? sitting in the car and that's uh, about 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I've got our eyes on what could be a shooter. He's at about 600 yards. We're going to kind of wait and see where he moves to because if we try and stalk him from here it could push him up into the public land and we know there's a bunch of trucks sitting up there. So we're going to kind of see how they move. We've kind of been holding our position. Same spot we were in last night. See if he uh, moves works his way this way or what's gonna happen but right now we're just gonna sit still instead of trying to make a move quickly it's the first morning we've got time we've got one other truck in the field behind us right there is that 550 yeah. Five, 550 yards you, you could shoot that from here I mean, we're dialed to 600 <laughs> but in the morning. Yeah, I've got our eyes on what could be a shooter. He's at about 600 yards. We're going to kind of wait and see where he moves to because if we try and stalk him from here, it could push him up into the... We're currently on the stalk. We've got a good wind. We're going to try and get in front of him before he gets to these trees. we got about a mile long walk. So we're just hanging out in this canyon, walking slow, trying to keep our eyes on him. Guys, we had a real tough break situation this morning. That deer is about 300 yards from us, walking along the fence line, chasing a doe right to us. And some guy pulls up on his ranger and says, hey, didn't mean to scare those deer away. And we're like, yep, well, that was our shooter. So there goes our opening morning, but we're resetting up on the fence line, building a little blind out of some cedars. 
and uh, going to give her another shot for the evening. You youngins want to learn a little trick here. This, meet Felix. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Felix is our dummy. We set out some orange on the tree <laughs> to keep other people away from the area that we're hunting at. So they think that there's multiple hunters in this area and it's already covered. But uh, we'll show you when we get a little closer so y'all can meet Felix in person. All right, here's our boy Felix. He's primed up, ready to go. Looking absolutely dialed with his new camo. Here we got a coyote stuck in a fence. Don't see that every day. So guys, to wrap up the hunting video, it was amazing. I loved being back, hanging out with my buddy Tyler. We ended up seeing that deer that the guy scared off the next morning. I lined up, pulled the trigger, gun didn't go off. So I got off the gun and then actually went off three seconds later. So we were a little spooked by that with that gun. So we put it away. Uh, obviously we lost the deer because it ran off. But that night we went out, saw an even bigger deer. He's probably like 170 inches. He was massive. And we chased after him. We got lined up on a fence line. We thought we were gonna be able to cut him off and hey, we didn't get a shot. So overall, super epic weekend. I was so glad to be back. I hadn't hunted in like 10 years for whitetail, but moving on, my buddy Sean sent out his Galaxy for Cletus and cars. So I'm gonna show you guys me picking up the car and then him doing a little bit of a burnout. So enjoy this some Galaxy content. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. That's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.